Hiya, it's me again Sheila. So this is a requested video from some of my subscriber ladies and they asked me to do a simple makeup look. Now, this is a makeup look I go to pretty much most mornings if I'm going to wear makeup. And lately I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup so this is basically how I look now is basically how I've been going out which you know I think he's fine one time I wouldn't have gone out like this but now I don't mind so basically it's just a quick and easy um, eyeshadow look and it's good for people who are just getting into makeup because there's not a lot of skill required to do it so I think it's the perfect beginner makeup look. I mean, yeah, it's all fine and dandy. I have been going out with like seven inch thick of concrete on your face and great big bold eye, you know, like eyeshadow looks, but that is not practical for everyday, you know, working mum or, you know, just for everyday just going out. So this is what I like to go to. So we'll start off by giving my face a little bit of a primer because my face is dry and greasy at the same time so up here and up here and down here is where I'm really dry but in this area this is where I'm like really greasy I think you could probably fry an egg on my face I can't this I have to take the lid off because it's just the squirty bits not working it's like broken so I'm just gonna put a little bit on because I have got quite wide pores and plus it makes the 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 makeup go on a lot smoother and this one's a um, W7 um, Glow Prime and I got it from B&M and it was, I think it was just like over a quid or something. So yeah, it smells really nice as well. I'm just going to rub it in with my fingers. Not everybody uses fingers, but guess what I'm going to. I'm going to look from the mirror now while I'm just <laughs> rubbing this in. Ah, uh, there we are. So I'm going to use my little mirror just to look in, see what I'm doing. So what it does, it helps make a, a better canvas for your makeup to go on because if I try putting makeup on without like either some cream on my face or some primer, you can see all the dry patches on my face. So that's that one done. And then next, I just go in with an old brush, a broken old brush. Yeah. And I use um, Derma, Derma Col to... Um, cover the five o'clock shadows up in the melasma on my face melasma is like sun damage because i like to sit out in the sun a lot and it is not good for your skin trust me it has done a right a lot of damage to my face i mean i'm 41 and i look 61 so yeah it does do a lot of damage so i'm not soft or anything like that i just like to get it on as quickly as i possibly can you know not messing around I put a bit there as well because I had a cold sore down on my lip recently and it scarred my lip. I always get like cold sores when I'm run down. I get loads of them. So I just like to put a bit on here just to cover. I was going to put kiver. Cover some of the imperfections up. Because I've got quite a number of imperfections from the years of shaving and stuff. I've like got a a mole there which I don't like and then I like to cover here excuse me if you can hear noise downstairs our parrot is being an arsehole right now I like to put some on here because I've got some melasma here I've got a bit of melasma here and I've got a little bit up here at the moment it's not as um, prominent but as soon as it gets really really warm it will get really 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 dark it's like Bump. and they wanted me to use apple cider vinegar and I tried and literally when I was using the apple cider vinegar putting it on my face it was like stinging my face and it literally chokes you to death so no I stopped using it and I've got melasma over here I always thought it was a five o'clock shadow from shaving but it's not <laughs> so I just like to go in and give it a quick rub Like I say, I'm no professional. This is what I do on my face. Obviously, people are not going to need to do this that I'm doing, but this is what I do. So, 
just rubbing it in as best as I can see that's basically that bit done and then I like to go under my eyes to brighten it up and I use the infallible um, more than concealer it's L'Oreal and it's the ivory so I just go with a couple of blobs under my eyes and again I use I use this brush I just recently bought these out of um, b and I'm not going to use that one because that's an eyeshadow brush um, let me have a look where is that bloody brush um, there it is I use this brush just to fill it in a little bit and I put a little bit on my lid as well just to prime it up a little bit basically when you put concealer under your eyes it just brightens your eyes up a little bit because my skin is very very dull extremely dull I've got what they call sallow skin so it goes like a like a olive like a olive greeny yellow colour and I, I absolutely hate it it's not as bad as it used to be because it used to be really 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 prominent but it has calmed down so then I just use this um, powder, it's just like a really, really white powder. Using my finger again. Like I say, if you don't like using your finger, hey ho. And then uh, I do the other eye as well. As you can see, there's just no skill whatsoever to do with this. And it just brightens up the areas. As you can see, it's a bit more brighter. I do not contour my face, I just, I'm not all about that, I'm not my face shape doesn't bother me or my nose shape even though my nose is quite big i've got my mum's nose so yeah so yeah so that's basically it and now we're gonna go in with the actually i'll do my eyebrows first as you know i've got my eyes microbladed so i do shave them off but one of my eyebrows is actually a little bit longer than the other one so this one is a little bit longer than that one so i do like to fill them in um just to make them even plus Plus this one is a little bit lighter and I'm just using a professional eyebrow pencil and it's it's just a brown. So there's no, for me, there's no skill involved with this. It's just basically following where the line is already. As you can see, that's really, really quick. But obviously if yourself, you've got just normal, you've got eyebrows on, you can just use any eyebrow pencil just to you know define it or you can just leave them as they are if you like them like that I just like to fill mine in a bit so I'm just giving this one a little bit more of a darker colour I need a new eyebrow pencil I've got another one in my drawer and every time I try to use a sharpener on it it just won't work so and that's the one I normally go to and that one is the um the one that I normally go to is um, Makeup Academy Brow Define. That's the one I normally go to. Right, so that's that's my eyebrows. And then I take this little brush and a little bit of concealer. The I just use the L'Oreal. I put it on the back of my hand. And then I just go in to my eyebrows just to straighten the edges off a little bit there you go quickie and simple just to straighten that edge off straighten that edge off a little bit brown there a little bit brown there just need to straighten this edge off a little bit more And that's pretty much for the eyebrows right so the next bit I normally wait to do my make uh, my powder and my foundation till last so we're gonna go in with any eyeshadow as a base so you basically need two color eyeshadows and preferably what I like to use is quite a shimmery um, eyeshadow that goes all over the lid and then I use a, a deeper eyeshadow for the outer corner and that can be a brown it can be a black it can be a deep purple it can be a deep blue 
anything like that. And normally I like to use a shimmer one and then a matte one because two shimmer ones don't always look right together. So today I'm going to go in with the Primark one and it's just the matte eyeshadow. So you get a matte eyeshadow on one side and you get the shimmery colour on the other side. Today I'm going to use the shimmery colour. I'm going to pop it all over my lid because it gives it that little bit of a pop. So just I'm just going to put it all over. It's a really nice shimmery pink. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a an eyeshadow thing just to blend it out a little bit because this actually it doesn't go on quite well with a brush so there's no skill involved you just need to pop it over pop it over the um, eyelid like that and I like to go quite high into my eyebrow right up here And then if I don't think there's enough, I can just go back in with a brush right over the edges. Because sometimes it sometimes it doesn't go on properly here. And just go over it again just to brighten it up a little bit more. It seems like there's more on this side than there's the other side. So like I say, if you if you're doing this and you you haven't if you feel like there's not enough on there, you can always you know go back in and add some more. That's what I'm doing because I feel like there's not enough on, especially not on the edge bits here, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. Right, so that's that one done and then I'm just going to take this little brush here and it's the um, it just says front cover and I normally use this brush and I'm just using the nude basics um, eyeshadow palette and it looks like that one and I'm going to be using this brown here as that's one that I normally go to so you just dip the brush in just a little bit blow the excess off and then you just basically go into the outer edge and then you just keep building it up bit by bit because if you just go in there like and like slap it on really hard you you won't be able to probably rectify it so I just like to do it bit by bit and just build it up and then just come come into the upper little bit I've got hooded eye eyes and they're quite droopy <laughs> so I just do that and then I'm going to blend this out in a minute so I'm just going to go in with the other eye just add in just a little bit at a time just rub it slowly and you can also put a little bit underneath I do not like to go all the way along because I just don't think it looks nice so I only come halfway you know halfway in most people go right the way around and I just think they look like they've been punched in the eye I really do it's just I don't like the look so just keep going in just keep building up little by little oh yeah Let's have a little chat about something else. So the last couple of days over here, and I've dropped my brush. So for the last couple of days over here, it's been quite warm. So we've been able to get a little bit of the garden done, a bit of tidying on. Not like I can do a lot. Like last time, I tried helping AD in the garden and ended up in hospital with my back. I literally ripped every single muscle from top to bottom in all my back. I just with having the fibro it just makes your muscles so weak it's just ridiculous so what I was doing I was just swilling the back where the door is because there was a lot of moss and dirt and stuff like that 
and it was really really nice to actually sit out in the garden with me within about 10 or 15 minutes after being in the garden I started crying because I just realised that in the summer normally I would be sort across from my mother and father talking to them in the summer and this time I'm not going to be able to do that because my mother and father have now gone back to Gainsborough they've been there for like four weeks and I'm finding it really difficult being without them because I've never been without them and my daughter who is 19 she's staying there to help look after them and I don't feel that it's her job it's my job and I feel like I'm missing out on quality time with my father because of his dementia and quality time with my mother. So I am finding it a little bit difficult. So yesterday I was in floods of tears, but I just sucked it up. It's just when I'm in floods of tears and then all of a sudden the phone goes and it's my mum. And straight away she could tell there was something wrong. And she says to me, you'll be okay. And she says, you know where we are. And... Yes, I do know where they are, but it's not the same for me. It's just not the same for me any anymore. It's just horrible. So I'm just using this um, this mermaid brush, and I'm just going in now just to um, blend the harsh edges away. And I'm also going to just go back in with some of this shimmery because on the edge of my on my lid there, this there's no shimmer, and I don't like it. It just looks like it's missing and it just looks wrong. So I've just gone back in with that. And I'm just using this brush again. Just just blend the, just any soft brush that you've got. Um, and then just go in, just lightly blend it away. And then it takes the harsh edges away. And then I am going to use my favourite mascara. And it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I just, it's my favourite mascara a little mini one I don't use falsies I wish I could but I can't seem to apply them I don't know it's just I just can't seem to apply them at all my daughter she wears them and she is really really good at putting them on me when I try putting them on uh, I don't know it just looks so wrong oh god palette's at it again So that's basically it for the mascara. I'm not putting anything under the waterline today because I don't normally do it, so I'm not going to do it today. And then for the uh, powder, I like to use the Max Factor and the colour is Sand and it's the Face Finity and uh, Perma Wear. And it's uh, basically powder and foundation rolled into one and this is my go-to makeup that I use. And I'm nearly out, as you can see, I need to get some more because... Like I said, with me having like a weird skin colour, this is one that seems to like complement my skin tone and plus it's it gives you a nice full coverage but it doesn't look like you've got like a cow pat stuck on your face. So yeah, so I just go in just with some powder round and I also like to go under my neck. And the good thing about this one, it also don't leave no harsh lines around your neck so you don't look like you've got a slag line. Because nobody likes a slag line. And I can just go up onto my head down here. And it's just, it just, just changes the skin and has a nice sheen. And then I just like to put a little bit on my eyebrows just to lighten them just a little tad and to blend away where I put the lines. So that's that bit. And then for mascara, well, I, not mascara, I don't use blush, I like to use like a different colour bronzer. So I like to use the Beautiful Bronze Metallic Bronze Blush Sun Kiss. That was a mouthful. I've had this ages, you know, my makeup needs cleaning, it's so dirty. And that's that one, it's got all different colours, white, brown, yellow. And I just like to dab a little bit of that on the edges of my cheek, just to give that little bit of pop of colour. And sometimes I like to go around my head here, you know, just to add a little bit of, just a little bit of colour. Now I don't like to use 
brushes I just don't think they suit my skin so just a little bit on and I just put it on the edges of my cheek really and then just a little bit down and then that's that for that one and then sometimes I do like to go in with a little bit of a glow stick and this is the um, this is the Ted Baker London and it's the lip and cheek tint so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit on the edges of my cheek and today we're going to put a little bit on my lips because normally when I um, put um, lipstick on it's normally a either it's ne it's usually that one which is just like a holographic lip gloss or I usually use one of the Essence um, Melted Chrome and they are really 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 good lipsticks these ones they stay on for ages so basically that's it and that is basically my look and like I say with the eyeshadows you can pretty much use any colour for the um, the outer lid as long as it's a little bit darker like just for, in, for instance sometimes I use this colour on my lid all over my lid and then I go in with this colour or you could let's have a look let's just pick just a random palette up this is the revolution um, skunk palette like weed palette I bought this ages ago from a car boot and I have used it just for instance you could go in with this color over your lid or this color over your lid and then go with this color as a deep color at the edge which I have done and it looks really really cool so that's a look it's quick it's simple and it looks really nice I think and um, like I say it just alters my whole face and this is what my staple look is what I go to when I wear makeup like I say I haven't been recently wearing a lot of makeup, makeup I can't be bothered it's just you, you know you're not going out what is the point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a close up just to show you how it looks so as you can see that is the shimmery look and this is the outer colour that's the cheeky bit and the lips like I say there's not a lot of colour on the lips but I don't always like a lot of colour this is just like a like a golden colour and that's about it really you see my eyebrows pretty okay and it's just a pretty simple look and you don't need no makeup skills with it so I'm gonna go back out maybe I'll show you like that so yeah go back out and that's it for this video so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and click like and subscribe click on the bell and it will let you know when I'm uploading another video if you've got any more requests please pop them in the box or if you just want to comment hello or anything like that or you know just to say what you think of the look um, just pop a comment in the box I do like to reply to all my comments because if you take the time out to reply to me I like to take the time out to reply to you and I do like to talk to my subscribers as always I've got some lovely ladies that constantly you know pop by when I'm on even sometimes when I haven't been on for ages they do still like to pop by and ask how I am which is really really nice and really really lovely so like I say if you've got any more requests please pop them in the box and I will try and do them as quickly as possible this is actually the fourth time I've tried to do this video and I just didn't for some reason I just didn't like the look and plus every time I did the video I forgot to zoom in to show you a you know just basically how it looks close up so it's like pibbling me off so today this is the video so yes so until next time take care of yourself and stay safe